In today's Crewbit, we're going to talk about how to efficiently fly big way sequential moves. We have two moves. We either need to move up in sequential or we need to rotate down. In this example, we've got our four way base. Number five, or the row three wing, is going to rotate down to the bottom. And number six is going to rotate up into the row three wing slot. Take note, both slots finish with a flat approach. Whether I'm coming up or I'm rotating down, both positions finish with horizontal energy into the formation. So there's no up and down energy. We don't upset our teeter-totter. All right, so let's look at uh, both moves. First, we're going to start with the move to rotate down to the bottom. When we get ready to go, when they count three, two, one, release, you immediately want to take your outside brake or outside toggle and you want to go horizontal out to the side. No more than one canopy width uh, over. And then once you're over one canopy width, then you want to grab your inside front riser and pull down. Now, if you're going more than three or four slots down, you may end up having to you start with your inside front riser, then maybe you might need to grab both front risers and adjust your angle towards your slot that you're heading down to. But if you're only going down one to three slots, usually just one uh, front riser, the inside front riser is good. When you get level with where your slot is, you want to start moving horizontal. You don't want to go low and you're going to transition all that down speed into horizontal speed. And how you stop that horizontal speed is with that outside break, just like uh, when we were docking on the formation. The other sequential move we're going to talk about is moving one slot up. And in order to move one slot up on the release, we want to follow the A-line of the person that we were docked on and just follow it about one, one and a half feet away and just the exact same angle that that A-line is going. And so I've drawn two red lines here to show uh, exactly that angle that we're looking for. And we follow all the way up, staying out into that clean air out there until we're even with the shoulder. Once we're even with the shoulder, then we want to start moving in flat approach again, docking on that shoulder. This move can be done with the rear risers or you can even do it with the brakes. If you get your body really, really small, you can use your brakes. But the main thing is you must avoid the body burble and stay out inside that clean air. And here's that uh, same slide we watched at the very beginning showing both people moving at the exact same time in concert with each other. Both these people should be able to trade slots in six to seven seconds. And also notice both slots finish on a flat approach. There's no up or down energy into the formation. And here's a real life video clip. This is from uh, Spring Fling 2023. And what we want to do is we want to watch the right side of the formation here. We've got some decent examples here. Not exactly textbook, but some really decent, timely examples. So as we watch, we can watch the break and then we start the clock. And you can see the top guy uh, outside toggle. Unfortunately, he used the inside toggle here. But he's rotating down really quickly. And look at the other people all sliding up one slot. And the person that rotated down, once he's on level, he can come in nice and flat. But you can see here in nine seconds, we've got four people that moved up into those slots. And we've already got hands on four people in nine seconds. Kudos. All right, we're going to play it one more time without any uh, pauses in there. We're just going to let it play. Uh, I'd really like you to watch the pink canopy as it moves up. It had the best path out of them. Not exactly textbook, but very, very nice path coming up. Not too much extra movement outside or it didn't get into the uh, burble there. But all four canopies, again, moved up nine seconds and the pink canopy was uh, the best technique out of all of them. When done correctly, each up move can be performed 
easily in six to seven seconds with no extra energy into it that's going out and finishing flat coming back in the down rotation can also be be done easily seven to ten seconds if you're moving down one to four positions and then we need to add on oh two seconds per slot uh, going any further than that but it's a very quick move and we can do it without putting any energy into the formation again both whether you're doing the up move or the down rotation move you're finishing with the horizontal on level into the dock, on the shoulder.